Hey folks, it's Kimberly Hobscheid, and today we're gonna to be talking about downloadables. That is a freebie, a lead magnet, a list builder, something that you use to, that is a giveaway to people who may be interested in doing business with you that is easily downloadable or accessible where you can then, in exchange for giving this to them, add them to your list and grow the opportunity to be able to follow up with them in the future with more cool things. All right, so you probably, if you don't know what a lead magnet or a list builder or a downloadable is you probably actually do because you've probably gotten them before. Uh, if you've ever gone to anybody's website and they say, hey, here, grab my 10 reasons that you need to whatever, or grab my downloadable, which is a template for blah, 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 um, or if grab my free ebook or something like that. And then when you do, you click on the button to get the stuff and it says, give me your email address, right? And your first name and maybe more information. And then you uh, fill that information in and then and in exchange for giving them that information, you actually get added to their list and then you get your free thing that you were looking for. Um, so I wanna talk a little bit about those because sometimes people have confusion as to what they are or how to build them and what works really, really well. So when I was first looking at uh, building a downloadable for my stuff and my website uh, to be able to attract people from my list, the first thing that I was told is make sure that you have something that is immediately downloadable. Like they just can get it from uh, directly from your website. And what I found is that a lot of people make this mistake. Like they just have it on their website, download my checklist or whatever. And you can download the checklist, but you don't actually have to give an email address or anything like that. Uh, so the first thing I recommend is that you just do put that gateway on there that you allow them to enter their email address and then email it to them. And that's the method to receive the downloadable or the checklist. That way you are able to capture their email email address and add it. Hopefully you have some sort of uh, CRM, customer uh, relationship management software or something. Um, sometimes that's Active Campaign or SurveyMonkey and I won't get into all that. There's plenty of other um, videos I have on that. Um, but you add it to your, uh, your list and start tracking and being able to follow up with them. The second tip is make sure that you, uh, that you do, after you capture it, you capture their uh, first name and ideally that's it. Really, you just want their first name so that the next time you email them, you can say, hey, Kimberly, uh, and then give them the next bit of information. You don't even really need a last name because in your uh, CRM, it's actually going to differentiate it by the email address. So you could have 16, 20, 50 Kimberleys in there, but only one of them is gonna have the email address that I gave you to download that. Now, you could get duplicates because I have multiple email addresses and I could request it to different emails email addresses, you may have me in there two or three times. Not a big deal, um, but each time you email that address, you wanna be able to say, hi, Kimberly. So my recommendation is make it as easy as possible for the person to actually get your stuff, right? So ask for the email address and the first name. You can ask for the second name, the, the given name, if you will, um, the last name, if you want to, uh, but I would remove all barriers to entry, if possible, to be able to just get their email address and their first name. Whenever I get an email, address that says, hey, K Hobshide at blah, blah, blah. I always cringe thinking, wow, like they didn't even get my first name and they don't really know who I am. And so clearly this is just an email that I got signed up on a list for. So having the first name actually allows me to be like, all right, they have, at least I, I valued them enough to give me, give them my first name in some way. And it builds the relationship and it allows for connection. All right, number three, uh, don't ask for a phone number, right? Do not ask for a phone number. You don't need the phone number. Nobody answers their phone anymore anyway, unless they know who it's from, because we have these little things up that are screeners that say spam alert or uh, that it doesn't really know who it's from. And if you do know who it's from, it's in your contact list, so you're gonna answer it, right? Um, so don't bother with the phone number for right now, not on, the, not on the gateway in. Once you build relationship with them, maybe you've booked a call with them, maybe you've started to talk to them about your stuff, and then you can get their phone number to follow up with them later. I find even then, even after I'm on a call with people, and it's usually a Zoom call, that people even then are often hesitant to give out their phone numbers because we really use this now uh, for being able to get email and, um, and stuff like that, but we don't wanna get filled up with texts and we certainly don't wanna get phone calls in the middle of our day selling us stuff, and that's what we've been trained to like steer away from now. So we don't mind so much giving an email address out because if we're not interested, it's easy enough to unsubscribe or delete, uh, but giving out a phone number 
number, that's a little bit too much personal information. So I would recommend you don't ask for a phone number on the gateway, on the, on the, the uh, getting in. So just the email address and the first name. And finally, make sure that the next page that you receive, that you get after they enter the email address and your first name, the next page that they should see is a thank you page directing them to get your freebie in their email. The, the mistake a lot of people make, a lot of entrepreneurs make, is to actually just deliver it on that next page, right? To say, okay, they've entered their email address and first name, and now here it is, right? The problem with that is that you're not checking to make sure that the email address is correct in any way. Basically, you're just receiving whatever they put in there. If it's a false email address, if it's bogus, if it's not right, um, you, you're stuck with an email address that's not correct. But if the next page says, hey, go to your email and get it, then you haven't delivered the goods, as it were, to somebody who's given you a false email address. So they will get this thank you page that says, thank you so much uh, for uh, opting into my freebie. And I would love to uh, work with you, uh, but go to your email uh, and get the actual freebie and you can download it from there. And then don't make them ask a second time. So don't say, hey, we just want to double check and make sure that you really, really want this. So click this link and then you can have a, no, just give it to them. Just give it straight to them. Like not, don't make them opt in through many things because it just irritates people to do that. All right. And then next on your thank you page, make sure you have some other way that they can connect with you or work with you. This thank you page is ideal for saying, hey, thanks, here's a video of me. Oh, thanks for offering. Here's an opportunity to work with me or get on my calendar or see my website or anything else. If they don't want it, that's totally fine. But now they've received the thing in their email box. They're going to go get that. But now you have this pretty thank you page. You might as well say something else on it. Like if you're looking for a mentor or a guide or a coach or somebody to work with, click here and schedule me for some time or click here and go to my website or click here and find out more about our programs, right? So now you have multiple ways for them to interact with you. I hope this was helpful. Um, if, you, if you liked this information, go ahead and like it below or make a comment. I respond to pretty much every single one of the comments that are on my YouTube channel. Super glad that you joined us. I'm very excited and I'd love for you to subscribe. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. I'm Kimberly Hobshide with Entrepreneurs Rocket Fuel. If you haven't already joined the community, I would encourage you to do that. Go to www.entrepreneursrocketfuel.com forward slash Facebook, and you will be able to join our community and join the conversation. We have thousands of entrepreneurs that are on there, all having conversations, sharing their information about their freebies, about their downloadables, lead magnets, about their upcoming events, asking for help, offering help, and you can be part of it too. So join the community, join the conversation. We'll see you there. Cheers.